Welcome back to Battle Brothers. It's day one, two, three. It's in the afternoon. It's, we're all gonna get us. We're all gonna die. We're all fucked. We're all gonna die. That's obviously not the full Black Monolith. Okay, so it's not the Black Monolith. It's just called Black because lots of we can do this. A single Necklace of Arts, a single Honor Guard, Ancient Legionaries. Yeah, it'll be tough, but it's doable. Um, I'm going to fall back because we 100% don't need spears for this, I don't think. Is it going to be worth maintaining a spear wall? Or whether she would just attack them straight up? I feel like I want to attack them straight up. And not bother with not bother with spears. Of course, the issue we're going to have with the uh, ancient legionaries is that they will be stacked too deep, and by that I mean it'll be a sword and shield uh, legionary, and then there'll be a pikeman behind it. I thought we had more sword raiders. If we had multiple sword raiders, you can hit those ones at the back, but we don't seem to have that. See, I want to get Krytar into the front line here. Just so that he can... Yeah. I need a Hammer Raider to protect my flank. Like Melon. Okay, so, Melon, we'll put you in that spot. And who do I put on the back line? I'll tell you what, let's start with Pat and Fane on the back line because I actually expect the Nicholas of Arn to go to the back line and I want Patton to get stuck in and uh, dagger the shit out of it. It does suck that of no consequence doesn't have a two-handed axe that he can use, but... I mean, it does 24 damage to shields, but all of these legionaries have shield expert. Yeah, I'll tell you what, at, at a minimum, I reckon we should just camp until we repair our armor. The fact that we have even a single piece of male shirt really worries me. Okay, and I, I kind of I want Devgin to be in this fight because I think three long swords in the front line should help us do good work against those legionaries. How much longer? Uh, Okay, so Devgan needs to be in the fight. Who are we going to leave behind then? Probably Guts. Okay, just go to your main weapons. I just want to see what we're dealing with here. Okay, this is excellent. That, that's very nice. We should make relatively short work of those legionaries with these three great swords. And then we've got the two. Yeah, we'll be grand. Look at this. And then we've got Warhammers on the flanks here. And we've got an Orc Flail there, and then Kogatla. I kind of want another Raider to go off by himself there, but we don't... We've got... We've got Guts. Okay, no pussy. Be brave. Dovkul does not favor cowards. This is a nice little formation for a front line. Look at that. All Raiders up front. And then, yeah, we've got Kolgatla to run at the back and hopefully stun lock that Nicker Savant while Padden gives it the stabs with the dagger. And even though it's terrifying to have them in this light armor, well, relatively light armor, I'm confident, confident these two will take care of the Nicholas Avant, and then it's just up to you lads to take care of the uh, the, the ancient legionaries. 
Uh, even though you guys are ex masters, I wonder whether I shouldn't just give them pole arms for the extra hit chance. We'll just just smash through their shields. Let these guys go to work. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. Okay, it looks like we're ready to go. Just checking the armor real quick. Okay, hang on, Krytar, you've got the strongest armor needs to be on the flanks of the formation. So weaker armor towards the center of the formation. Okay, it's not ideal. It's okay. This ancient honor guard helmet really sucks. Hello, hello. 140 points of armor here. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's start off with the shields out because, of course, we have quick hands. And then we just straight up get stuck into these nerds. We're not going to faff around with a, uh, sh a spear wall. We just want to get in and attack these things as quick as we can. Right. Now it's changed. A few priests. So does it, does it keep re-rolling every time? Oh, what the fuck? What is this? <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the night before, it was like a lot easier. Now it's a plethora of ancient... The game's like, okay, you fell back. Fuck you. What is this? Now this is... Uh, <laughs> Hell of a lot more difficult. Now, it used to be lots of ancient legionaries, and one honor god, and one Nicholas Savant. Now it's multiple Nicholas Savants, multiple ancient priests, a few honor gods, and a plethora of legionaries. What the actual fuck? Oh, come on! And now they've spawned a little group to come out and fight us. Are you kidding me? Okay, this might not be a bad thing. If we take these out, I think it subtracts from the number that we're in Black Monolith. And we can all get nice height advantage here. Let's just, let's just fight this real quick. And then see if the numbers in Black Monolith go down. If they don't, I think we just abandon the quest. Because, I mean, with, with only reinforced Horbergs, this is the kind of thing that's... The kind of fight, I mean, that's liable to get a lot of us killed. Three, four. One little random zombie. No, two little random zombies. Bless their hearts. I mean, very often when these pike legionaries run to the front line, I'm tempted to just close in on them. But we've kind of already committed to taking the high ground here. And I think the high ground is more valuable. I also reckon, because we don't have Nicholas wants to deal with, I should probably have Kogartla and Patton go around the flanks and try to get stuck into those guys. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Well, that pattern, you wait. I want them to commit first. Hold the line, men. They're coming at us. Yep, fair enough. We knew they were going to do that. Okay, boys, get your swords out. And go to work. 60%, 45, 67. Good hit. See, this is why I kind of want Picasso to have quick hands and uh, polar mastery. A, a Hallbird would have done so much more damage there. 
I mean, having the banner out isn't really doing anything for us right now. What have you got? A Warhammer. If I put you here, then you can swing a big triple arc there. It's going to be dangerous. Should be good. Oh, really? Only one of them hit? Damn. Oh, so close. God damn. Melon. The Warhammer user. 51. Yeah, th this is hardly even worth 51%. You know, let me ignore this Vita Ganga. There you go. It's this nerd that needs to die quick as we can. And what have you got? A flail. If you guys there, he can't use it this turn. So I reckon just go here. Well, but if he nails the Vita Ganga, that doesn't really help us. Go there, dagger stab, and then this... Yeah, okay. On the next turn, he can use his... Uh, use his flail. Oh, great damage. Tal, I'm actually... Oh, if I put him here, he's in attack range of these two, but... I think it's important that I attack these legionaries and we ignore the Vita Ganga, basically. Yes! Well worth it. Damn it. Oh, I should have attacked there. Was it those two? No, that's correct. Yeah, I want to make sure I hit those ones at the back whenever possible. Quick hands, best skill. Wait a second, so... I reckon we hit that one. Yes, Tim! Some call him... Melon. This is great. We've got a few kills and they haven't even had a chance to attack yet. I'm tempted to try kill this one. But no, 31% is very unlikely. 71 and 71 there. Yes, Kazathor! Mm. Kritar. Shield out. Pen. Shield out. Okay, here they come. This is where it gets scary, when these legionaries start attacking. Great damage. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Good. Ouch. Melon, you have a Warhammer. Well, he can't move and attack these two with his Warhammer, so I might as well finish off that stupid zombie. Yeah, or, or miss it. That's also, you know, an option. Tim. Get him. Good man. Davgil. 5 AP. Dagger. Stab. Kratos, fucking doing the thing. What a badass. It looks like this one will get an attack off before we can kill it. Which is unfortunate. Shit, it's gonna really hurt Tal. I should better attack this one because if both this legionary and Vidaganga attack Tau. Oh, never mind. This Vidaganga's turn is over anyway. Fucking hell, guts. Ow! 
Ow. Okay, this is getting a bit desperate now. Okay, no, never mind. We should be able to kill this one before. Oh yeah, no problem. Easy. Love the work, lads. Good fighting. I mean, we're struggling with just this. Can you imagine if we had taken on that Black Monolith? We would have got absolutely slaughtered. I'm loving these orc flails. They're so exhausting, but I don't care. Very, very entertaining to use. By no means are they efficient. But they sure are entertaining. Yeah, it's still the same amount. A plethora. We can't do this now. So, okay, that, that that's a lesson learned. So I did not realize that if you go to a mission, an official mission like that we did, and then fall back and then camp for a few hours, that just gets bigger. And I suppose that makes sense. Still, this is unfortunate. We absolutely cannot do this. That's two ancient priests at least. So if we keep falling back, does it keep getting bigger? No. So it looks like it only increases in size once. Damn, that's very disappointing. God, look at this guy. Level 6, 58 melee skill. Ugh. Uh, hmm. You're in the center of the formation, so underdog is less important. I like footwork because it lets you line up these, to, you know, the the, uh, the two in a row hit. Melon, battle forged. But then again, you're on the edge of the f on edge of the flank. Let's go battle forged first, and then we'll come back for underdog. Yeah, taking Colossus Colossus was a mistake. It should have just been like this: one, two, three, uh, four, five, and six. Okay, lesson learnt. I hate that we have to turn, uh, fail this mission. Okay, nice. We've got an ancient bladed pike. I was trying to compare the bladed pike to the battle standard. So let's see. 50 to 70. Uh, how much damage to armor? 50 to 70 because it's 100%. Okay, this is 125 though. So th the most salient numbers are armor damage and armor piercing. So 0 to 21 and 50 to 70. Whereas this is... Zero, so it's three more points ignore armor. It does way more damage to armor though. So 68 to 100 as opposed to 50 to, seven, to 70. So yeah, even this bladed pike is better than, than the battle standard. Okay, so once he hits, we'll hang on to this bladed pike. And then once he hits... Hang on, how does the bladed pike compare to the regular pike? Yeah, the bladed pike is better. For armor damage that is 68 to 100 compared to 60 to 80. Okay. Don't we have another long axe? Yes, we do. And for sure, when I get my hands on another two-handed axe, we will give it to of no consequence and get him back to one of these, you know, on the, out in the open on the flank positions. It also reminds me, I should have taken Lone Wolf if I'm going to put them out there. I don't think I actually took Lone Wolf on anybody yet. Okay, well, Guts, we can certainly take Lone Wolf if we're going to keep you out there. Mm, yeah, that's okay. Ugh. Okay, so let's see how this wrecks our reputation with Ravenholt. This is terrible. Okay, not too bad. They are, they're still... God damn, that sets us back. Anyway. Let's just keep bouncing from city to city here and for Ravenholt and get to allied as quick as we can. 
It'll give us that sweet, sweet armor. Some auxiliaries, many, and on a guard. That's doable. But again, we're not getting paid to do it. And we need money. Money, money, money. As much as we technically can keep going from ruin to ruin and just cleaning them out, we'll make more money if we get a patrol mission first. So for probably the next few weeks, maybe even a month here, our ambition is to just keep doing whatever we can for House Ravenholt. Just keep saving money, just keep buying scale mail whenever we hit every 5,000, 6,000 gold. <clears throat> get to allied with them as quick as we can, which will then allow us to get involved with the undead invasion, and then that's you know what, what we'll do. Oh, crikey, we're almost out of food. Should we clear out this goblin place? It'll give us some food. I just want to check if we have any gluttonous guys. We've got a spot and it doesn't eat any food. I just want to make sure. Yeah, so Jungian might actually abandon us if we run out of provisions. Can we make it there to Isengrab in 12 provisions? I don't think we can. Grimfest is probably closer because it doesn't involve crossing those mountains. Shit. If we lose our, <laughs> our best crossbowmen because of lack of food. A letter of dead wolf pups. Their open-bellied mother is by them. A collar around her neck. There's a line of gore trailing away from the scene. Some tiny footsteps in the grass. The goblins been getting more of their mounts. Rotlin A is by your side. He points at the pups. They say the gobbos like the wild ones. They look for the freshest litters and only take the strongest. This is goblin territory, boys. This is going to be super close. I'm so glad we didn't try to cross the mountains. Literally one, <laughs> one item of food left. 1300 that's a great price. We'll take all of that. We sell the Manspitter, and we don't need that Berserker's Chain. Okay, these cut shields, we only need seven, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, we certainly need food, that's for sure. Tools were okay. Ammunition were okay. Let's see if we can find any... Oh god, I'd love to hire the squire, but... If it's not a cultist, we don't hire it. Also, we're not going to be working for this, these other houses. We're only going to be working for House Ravenholt. Oh, look at that. Good. That's 5,000. So as soon as we find our next set of scale mail, we can invest in the scale mail. I'm telling you though, once we get to a position where we have scale mail all on the front lines and we have tier 3 weapons and for that all we need is one more greatsword and full helms up front, that'll give everyone on the front lines 300 body and head armor. What? That's 240 body if you use scale mail. 240 and 300. That makes them super tough. Ah! God damn these undead. This is bad. They've surrounded us in a forest. This is bad. Bad, bad, bad. And our crossbowmen don't have pikes. It's going to be probably mostly legionaries. Okay, form up, boys, quickly. This is no boy, no. Let's see, so there's no access here. I think this is over here where we need to concentrate our forces. Now 
Yeah, that'll do. Crytal, good man. Uh, let's see. What's about consequence? Guts, flail user. I go hide in that bush. Bravely hiding in a bush. He's a bush hider, is what he is. This is generally not how I like to fight these buggers. God. Oh, gross. And that is a fallen hero with a tier 3 axe. I really want that axe. I mean... Okay, that's a decent armor damage. That's not so bad. I'm encouraged by that. That's obviously zero hit point damage, but... Okay, I think I need to change the standard loadout for our crossbowmen to have their backup weapon be pole arms, because in, in this situation they should be using a pole arm. Again, good hit. Uh, actually, you know what? Yes, 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 yes. Use footwork, and then Tim can footwork up there and do the same. No, he can't use his great sword because of the extra movement cost. Shit. Well, just shield wall then. This is bad. I think I should probably be aggressive in getting into contact with these legionaries because they're going to try to stay at range and not attack us. But I don't want to put Melon into a spot where he can be attacked by multiple of these bladed uh, bladed pikes. They are legit terrifying. Also, Krytar, don't give up your high ground. This is bad. Good. Let them let them come to us. Let them spend action points coming towards us. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken this ambition. I should have gone finish the undead undead invasion because we're gonna have to deal with this type of shit running into groups of enemies like this for such a long time. Melon, what do you have? A Warhammer. I kind of want to put him here so he can swing in a big circle. Oh, damn, I screwed that up. The attack with the two-handed Warhammer is 6 AP. Great work, Melon. Great work. Kaitar. God, I hate that sound. Excellent. 4 AP. It's so underwhelming. It's like so, so little damage. God damn it. You have height advantage and a sword and he doesn't have a shield. How do you miss that? Lads. Oh, guys. Dovkul's chosen or choking under the pressure. This is not good. That's three misses in a row. Four misses in a row. No, and you were supposed to equip your shield there. So arguably here, because he's using shield wall like a campaign, I should have just waited. Because if he attacks twice, then he doesn't have a shield wall up. What? Oh, jeez, I didn't even realize it. Oh, fucking hell, what am I doing? And yeah, now, now, now things are going tits up now. See, I'm not, I'm not factoring in the uh, the movement cost of this grassland. Guys, have we hit anything this turn? I don't think so. <coughs> no, you were supposed to attack there! <sighs> I'm tilted. I'm so tilted. <laughs> this is all going so badly. Ouch. At least 
least we've all got shields out. Good. That's what I want to hear. Pikes bouncing off of shields. Ooh, fuck, that's scary. See, I can't endanger- I can't take any of these shots without endangering my men. If I wait, that other guy should wander into view and we can get a shot off at him. Oh, for God's sake, Picassos! Right, Campana. Warhammer. Hulk smash. Good lad. Almost finished him off. Melon. Wait until of no consequence destroys this guy's shield. Krytos, you need to hit this. Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. <sighs> you see? Be more like guts. God, these things are everywhere. Yeah, Tim's gonna take a lot of hits here. One, two, three. That's actually wrong. I should have had his shield out. They've got shield expert. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh yeah, he can't take much more of that. Sakes, he's exhausted. Ah, I don't even know what to say anymore. Oh, Kratos is one of our best too. keep this fallen hero just out of attack range for this turn. I don't want him to take that position. Tim is in enough trouble as it is. But at least of no consequence should be able to move and then rotate him out. There aren't any good shots to take here. I'm, about to see, I'm basically fighting 10 v... well, they're 10. Because my two crossbowmen are just doing nothing for us. Uh, actually, Kassato, I'm gonna not end your turn. I'm gonna let Krato attack, then... Kassathor will wait and then switch. Oh, thank God for that. Krator, oh, fuck's sakes, dude. He's had a nightmare this fight. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize the defensive values of these legionaries are oh, as good as they are. Or as high as they are. Because these things are proving fucking impossible to hit. <sighs> Guys. Uh, did I just get Tim killed? I might have done, because I should have swapped out Tim. Well, he's wearing a shield. Come on, guys, you're, gonna, you're all gonna die and it's your own fault. See, be more like Campona, dodge those hits. Oh, <laughs> good googie mooglies. Yeah, you don't have quick hands, do you? Oh, shit. The old 9% hit chance. Useless. And you can't even get into attack range of anybody. Although, if I move you here, Melon, and then of no consequence moves, swaps and swaps. Don't think he'll have enough. 
Uh, oh, that's... Oh, God. What am I doing? Oh, that's big. Cast it though, it doesn't have quick hands. Shit. There are just seven of them. We're getting there. Guts seems incapable of landing a single hit. Okay, ow. Finally, shot gets through. Dev again, please tell me you have a sword. You do, excellent. Oh, for fuck's sake. One or two more hits, and we should be in the clear. On the left flank, at least. And this is just a random group of... Uh, Undead running around the map. Kazathor with the plays. Doing work. Krytar is too hurt to be able to contribute. Just got bravely hide in that bush. Ouch. Just a little poke, not a problem. And a stun, that's a nice bonus. Devgan, your lack of fatigue is most displeasing, I must say. Tim just has to keep holding out. Fuck sakes, pie. Uh, this is coming up on an hour and a half. It's not going well. More accurately, I'm not playing well. Oh, oh, Picasus with the plizzes. So how come this legendary be moving before Kazathor? It's fucked up. That's not ideal. Okay, Campana just saved his life there, good man. we the move was a pain in the fucking ass so i hired like a man in a van to help me move and it's him and his mate and they showed up like an hour and a half late and then refused to do the move for the price we agreed on and then tried to screw me with like charging me double the price but they know you can't you can't refuse because if they just leave you can't move that day and you have to move that day so i ended up paying almost double what we agreed on and <laughs> And then at the end of the move, they're like, oh, please leave a review for us online. I'm like, mate, you don't want me to leave a review. <sighs> Fucking people, I tell you. And then my... I was supposed to get my internet sorted by Monday, but it was only now on Thursday that I was able to get my internet rolling. So it was a very frustrating weekend. Well, I mean, man in a van, I mean, that's kind of what you have to do. Uh... The, well, the downside of the man in the van is that you don't get the reliability and standards of like a proper moving company, but a proper moving a proper moving company is incredibly expensive, and I didn't want to incur that cost. Even though the man the, the men in the men in the van screwed me over with the price, it was still cheaper than getting you know a proper moving company. But it's over at least. Lord, we're all completely screwed up with injuries and our armor is destroyed and this was just a random ambush at night we ran into. Fucking terrifying. We're gonna push like hell to see if we can't get ourselves to allied status with this house. We, we need to, we need to start addressing this uh, undead invasion. That's awesome. The fact that we got the great axe is awesome. So that means of no consequence can now start uh, being on the flanks here and Guts can go back to being in the middle of the formation. 
Where is of no consequence? With his axe. He's only a level 5 though, so no, he's not really ready to be there, but... I mean, at least he has the, the Great Axe. It's there for him if he needs it. And we got ourselves a Decayed Great Helm. Can anybody wear that? I mean, probably Krytol hasn't. He's got enough fatigue to get away with wearing that. I mean, it's a nice bit of head armor. It's like 90 extra head armor. Is it worth, though? I'm not so sure. We're going to be doing War of the Chosen very soon. I should have finished up this episode and then we'll jump across to War of the Chosen. Don't you worry. I am 100% going to be playing War of the Chosen. God, all our armor got fucking wrecked in this fight. Okay, who has what main weapon? What's your primary weapons? Uh, do I want Padden or Kogatla? I think I want Kogatla because of his ability to stun. The, the defensive option is quite nice. Okay, for goodness sake, let's just get to a friendly city. This is a fucking nightmare. More undead! Holy crap, look at this! I worry that in the time it's going to take us to get to Allied Relations, uh, we're going to have real, real problems. Uh, hmm, uh, uh, might be time for a bit of a rethink of tactics. I mean, it's certainly possible that we can get to allied relations, but I'm just worried that the entire world map is just going to be overrun with White Walkers. Winter has come, and we aren't in position to fight them. I suppose in the meantime, there's no reason why, why we, we, we can't take on missions that will have us fight the undead, and then that should help us just keep the uh, uh, keep the uh, the undead infestation in check. What's that about spoilers? No, nope, please no. I, I want to know nothing about all the chosen because I want the experience to be completely uh, clean. I suppose is the right word. Yeah, we can just have our tools repair all that stuff there. That's okay. Let's get rid of some excess weapons. We'll just hang on to two of these ancient bladed pikes. Uh, I'm never going to use the kopeshes. The flails I don't need either. Those are crap. These are crap. That's rubbish. Six thousand. I need to look to spend that on some scale mail. What kind of contract have you got for us? Also, we need food. That's less than cost price, so I'll take all of that. If this isn't a patrol mission, I'm not going to take it. What have you got for us? Uh, Greenskins, two skull mission. For 18... I think we can do this. Uncharted Cave, southeast of Eichendorf. I accept, but we need to just run to a city that has a temple. Fletcher, Armorer, Temple of God. But we have to get through all these undead. Okay, well, Krytar is just going to be out of action then for a bit. It's tedious, but play the uh, tutorial. Okay. Well, I imagine there's a whole load of new game concepts that I'm going to need to know about. Let's go see. What we're, it's going to be orcs rather than goblins, which is something uh, to be encouraged about, I suppose. How are we for hit points on the front line? 70 hit points, 55. That's a touch low. I suppose I could swap out Devgen for Pad and Fane. Let's see what we're up against and then decide whether I need to sw switch him out or not. So some warriors, that's actually pretty scary. 
That's actually very scary. So at least Jeb and Jungian have footwork, so when the warriors close in on them, they can just footwork away. Of no consequence is going to need a fully, re a fully repaired piece of armor if he's going to stand against those fucking orcs. I think we're going to need to go with the spears. Maintain the spear wall as long as we can. Really? One spear too little? Damn. Okay, so how long do we need... To repair we need a long time let's go to Eichendorf and camp there yeah I'm, I'm, you guys are gonna force me to you guys are gonna force me to ignore chat sorry what concerns me is that if I camp here we're gonna get attacked by those undead and we're not really in a position to fight those undead right now I kind of feel like that means we need to loop around. Uh, also, I should start buying up uh, throwing axes whenever I can, because then my crossbowman can use the throwing axes against the undead, which is actually pretty effective in destroying armor. The throwing axes don't suffer from the minus damage that crossbows and bows get against undead. Nah, let's just. Oh god. That isn't so bad. A few, a few legionaries, a few ancient orcs, at least. What the hell? I think we, we, we killed these buggers. Even if just because we, we need to start keeping the numbers of these undead down. And that isn't such a tough fight. And it's all good XP. So potentially what we should think of this as is that whenever we are able to, we should just clear up these roving bands of undead. Because I, I assume that the more of these buggers that they are running around the map, that they're going to do more damage to the cities and just make things more difficult. At least we're still making money, which is good. We're not in money trouble even though we had to turn down that that mission we're still sitting on six thousand gold i'm gonna head to that southwestern town see if we can't get to the temple to repair some of the damage that kratos suffered and if we can't get our hands on our first set of scale mail we've been a little unfortunate in terms of how few sets of decent armor we've gotten from uh, from banded leaders we've almost entirely gotten these reinforced male hauberks in my offline campaign i uh, managed to get mostly uh, lamella armor which is nicer but that's rng one two three four one two three four Great work with us done. Actually, I should, rather than attacking, I should be starting with my weapon out, because then on the following turn I can attack with the two-handed weapon and quick hands to the shield. So even though I don't get to attack this turn, it's safer for these guys on the next turn. It's the theory at least because I assume that with our initiative, we should be able to attack before almost all of them. Okay, no, that's not the case, but what are you going to do? Get him, Tim. Good man. Lovely. 
And do I even fancy footwork you in there? I think I do at the end of the turn, so just wait. Also, the next Halbert we get our hands on, we're going to give to Picasus. I could do a switcheroo here and get an attack off of one of these guys. Hmm. I'm going to wait, see if Campana can't... Yeah, let's see if Campana can twinkle toes into that spot. Then Kazathor can move up and get an attack off of one of these two. Great work, Melon. Good lad. See, like, I wonder if breaking the shield's even worth it. I mean, 49%. Like you said, it's worth trying. One in two chance to get the outright kill. And Campana doesn't actually have Twinkle Toes. Obadevgin will, though. God damn it, Campana! Good lad. Guts. Ah, berserk! Great skill. Ah, that fucks up everything I wanted to achieve. Nice. Oh, bye, you fucking monster. Ow. And now... Yeah, Devgin can't twinkle toes away, but Kazathor can... Rotation, although it shouldn't be necessary. I'll tell you what, we will adrenaline so that you can, on the next turn, you can attack and then trickle toes them out before they get to attack. until he gets footwork like if he had footwork there he could have gone there and gone for a big triple swing god he's level nine and i didn't take twinkle toes already footwork i should have instead of reach advantage not done a very good job this campaign Shields. Worst. Ow. Okay, we've got to take care of these guys quick. Because Kazathor is going to die if they both hit him on the next turn. Who's my other Huskull of no consequence? Is not in position to get him away. Okay, so the priority now becomes killing this one. So he can just walk away. Pushing him doesn't help. See, uh, I should have just tried to break his shield, but I mean, I can't believe how many of these hits I'm missing. Only one needs to get through and the fucking thing will die, but it just keeps... It's, it's this ridiculous shield expert. Melon, this is all you. There we go. That took forever. These fucking shields. That's big. <gasps> oh, if that hit, it could have killed him. Well, Kesethor was safe, not least. <gasps> Sykes. That's what I'm talking about. It's not what I'm talking about. Oh, how tough is that zombie? Go 
Great dodging. That would have hurt. Jeb didn't have a whole lot in the way of armor. Looks like... Ugh, really? One more hit. Come on, boys. Here we go. Fuck's sake. It's all nice XP. 200 odd XP. Ooh. No, that's terrible. 125 for 20. No good. Another good level up on Jeb. Plus four. God. 66 range skill at level seven. That is absolutely awesome. It's so bad. Hmm. I think I need to take Gifted just to get some more points in his range skill. I mean, there are some other nice options here, but... 70. Ugh. That's still not very good. It's still not very good, but it's less shit than it was. And the lads are taking a lot of damage. Well, we are on our way to a fairly big city where we'll be able to get a bunch of items and stuff repaired. Which is very important for us. It's going to set back completion of this mission for a bit, but oh well. Let's just plan where we're going. Tanborg has the temple we need and a weaponsmith as well. Where's the which city has the armorer? There you go, Elsliv and Helfenstein. I'm just very nervous that I mean, we might run into that second group of undead we saw kicking around here. Overall, this is a great paying mission. This is what almost 1900 gold. Very nice. I mean, I feel like we're not doing as well as we could be, but considering what we're trying to achieve with all, all the cultists, it could be worse. I mean, I knew going for all cultists was not going to make for the best group of fighters, but now that I'm actually experiencing it, it's like, oof, it's really bad. God, look at the prices on these f food items, man. Serion. What do you mean? Isn't that uh, the Khaleesi's dragon? The the one that the thing happened to? Hashtag no spoilers. Man, this whole, game, this whole season of Game of Thrones has been fucking amazing. Like, I get how people are complaining about the pacing not being quite right, and I suppose I agree, but I can also understand how the showmakers and the actors... I wouldn't say that like they're over it, like they're over the show, but you can kind of see how it's been seven years now, and it, and it must be fucking hard work to film Game of Thrones. I reckon we fight those Nocturnes. That is excellent XP. Game, okay, lads. Or at least, uh, it's been an hour. Let's take a little break here. And when we come back, we will clean up these Nocturnes, hit Elsliv, see if we can't get ourselves a set of scale mail. Or most likely, we're just going to have to turn back and finish this mission because we're not going to have enough money to buy the scale mail and still be able to, to make it to the mission and back. So we'll clean up these Nocturnes, maybe step, stop back in Tanborg and uh, repair this armor. How much time do we need? If we've got the tools, I mean, we could repair that armor on the way there. Okay. Hmm. Things could be going better. 